In this question, we're told that a student takes 0.225 hours to bike to school. We're also given the conversion factor for hours to minutes and minutes to seconds and asked how many seconds does he take to bike to school. So we're given our question in hours and we're converting it into seconds. Okay, so we start with hours. However, we don't want to end up with hours as our unit. So I'm going to start by having hours on the bottom of my fraction. That way later on it will cancel out and we'll get rid of the hours. Now if we look at our conversion factor above, one hour equals 60 minutes. I can convert hours into minutes using that conversion factor. So I'm going to have minutes on the top of my fraction. And I need the top and bottom of the fraction to equal each other. So one hour, I'm putting that on the bottom since I have hours on the bottom already. And 60 minutes, I'm putting that on the top since I have minutes on the top. So you can see here the bottom and top of the fraction equal each other. And that's why this is able to transform our unit without actually changing the meaning of what it is. So I've now converted from hours to minutes, but we need to get all the way to seconds. So I'm going to do it again. I now have minutes on the top, but I don't want to end up with minutes. So I'm going to divide by minutes on the bottom. And eventually I want to be in seconds. So I'm going to have seconds on the top. And I need to add my conversion factor. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So I'll put the one with the minute on the bottom, the 60 with the seconds on the top. And again, we can see that the top and the bottom of the fraction are equal to each other. Wonderful. So we're ready for the math part. So let's write out our equation. So we've got 0 0.225 hours multiplied by 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds. So everything on the top multiplies. Then we're going to divide by everything on the bottom multiplied. So divide by one hour times one minute. Now at this point we can cancel anything that's the same top and bottom. So we have hours on the top and the bottom. We have minutes on the top and the bottom. So that gets us 0 0.225 times 60 times 60 divided by 1 times 1. And our only unit there is seconds. So if we put that into our calculator, we'll get out a value of 810 seconds.